If you've watched the first video of this series, that means that you have completed step one, which is to create your script. I am David Moya with VideoSalesRealEstate.com and I'd like to share with you the second step you need to take to start creating similar video content. The second step we're gonna take today is actually filming a video. Now, take these things, this is very easy for you to do, right? So just to make it very simple and easy for you, we're gonna do it on Facebook Live. If you haven't used Facebook Live to stream a video, you're in luck because that's what we're gonna to do today. And yes, depending on your skill level, skill set level, and level, level of expertise, you may opt to film several clips instead of filming a live video. However, that's up to you. I don't recommend that right now, especially if you're just starting off. Live videos are super, super easy to do, and they're useful. You can use them across multiple video platforms and really leverage what you create one time. So if you want more information about how you can do that, you can head over to our tutorial section where you will find a video of me explaining how to do the editing of several clips, right? But for today, we're gonna to focus on the easiest route, which is doing a Facebook Live. Of course, you can do uh, it on Zoom, which I, I, can, I would recommend as well. And you can do a Facebook, rather a YouTube Live. Okay, I'll include a description rather include a, a, a link in the description below for that tutorial on editing multiple clips. All right, now for the fun live stuff. Um, whether you're doing it on Zoom or Facebook or YouTube, the point is to be consistent. Wherever you're filming this live video, be sure you could download the video file after you filmed it so you can syndicate it on many multiple, well, multiple media, uh, social media platforms. But let's head over to the screen share so I can walk you through some really quick do's and don'ts. Okay? So, do make sure that you have good service or, if possible, connect to Wi Fi, right? So, number one, try to connect to Wi Fi. Uh, look the part. So, wipe down your, your, your selfie camera lens. A lot of times, people will flip the lens uh, and, and not realize that you know, you're squishing your cheek onto the lens and therefore smudging sweat, makeup, whatever onto your lens. So you want to make sure your lenses, both sides are nice and clean. Just wipe them with your t-shirt or, or like a, if you wear glasses or whatever, you can wipe them down with that cloth. All right. Now, number three is follow the plan. Avoid wasting time by, you know, not focusing on the things that, that are really gonna deliver the message. So follow the plan. Uh, I've included a simple storyboarding that you can use in the uh, previous video, super easy. So follow that and you will avoid wasting time. Now, again, we talked about leveraging the, um, the work. So if you've done the work, go ahead and syndicate it on multiple platforms and we'll cover that in the coming videos. Okay, so now let's head over to your Facebook page, and so you can go live, all right? So I'm gonna show you really quick how you can do that. All right, so, all right, so now you can see my phone, I'm actually, on it right now I'm literally on my my Facebook page and we are going to click publish okay that looks like the internet rather this software there it is good all right so now that you see this this screen you're gonna scroll down just a little bit till you see live video All right. Now, depending on how you're going to film, I like to go horizontal. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit live video. Let's first make sure I'm not locked. Yep. So I'm going to unlock. I'm going to go on live video. And here we go. I wonder if you can see my... Now I'm in horizontal mode, right? So 
wait for that to transfer. There it is. All right, so I'm in horizontal mode, right? Now, you're going to want to, before we move forward, you're going to want to add a description and a title. At the bottom left-hand corner, you see a section that says, tap to add description, right? And you notice that at the top left corner, it says public and post. So that just means it's going to go to all my sphere, everybody on my list, and it's public. All right? So be sure that you have a description and make sure you add a couple of these following elements here. I'm going to show you real quick. So you can add a description. Let's say you want to add, just say live video. I mean, obviously you wouldn't say this, but depending on what type of video you're doing, it would go live video. And then you could, um, you know, you can add a location if you'd like to. I'm in Carlsbad. So, uh, and then you just go ahead and hit this blue button to the right. That is the, the live button. Okay. It's that simple, guys. It's that simple. All right. So once you have done the video and you've recorded that video, um, you're going to want to make sure you optimize it. Okay. So let's go ahead on over to this section of my screen share. All right. So we have this video up, rather this page up, and I want you to look at a couple elements here. One is you want to make sure you have a title, like I mentioned, a very, very uh, good title. I'm just putting this here for now. This is a, a tutorial, the one that we did yesterday or the day before, or the previous video, let's say. It's about writing a script. So I wrote a script for this video. I've, I've read it. Um, I'm following it, not to a T, but since I wrote it, I understand it, I'm following it. And um, then we add a description to it, right? You can add to it more, you can add more to it. Like on our podcast, I add, you know, I add much more content. This is just for an example. So, you know, I'll put a sentence like this, then I'll add, I'll include links. I'll even include links to, to previous episodes. So you can always include more than one link. You want to also tag anybody you've, you're, you're in the video with tag your location, and of course, keywords. So the keywords are gonna just help you find, or rather help viewers find you uh, if they're looking for your type of content. Now, the other thing is you definitely want to include sub subtitles and captions. So you can just auto-generate it, and Facebook will create it for you, all right? A lot of people watch their videos in silent mode. In mute mode so you do not want to lose out on that audience by not including some captions all right and then for me I I like to create custom thumbnails so you can head over to your thumbnail section and add an image all right and then in this case I'm gonna um, this is not the one I want to use but let's say it was I'm gonna go ahead and add it and this is um, a, a now a custom thumbnail that I've created on canva.com I have another tutorial on that. If that's something that's that's that you're not familiar with, that you'd like to know more information about, I'll include a link to the tutorial below. But here's where you want to include a custom thumbnail. It's just catchier. People, you know, people will see it for a second and then they'll start watching your video. Okay, then you go ahead and hit save, and you are done. All right. All right, so if you like this information, please like, comment, and share the video, and be sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms as we release new content like this every week. Again, I'm David Moy with VideoSalesRealEstate.com, and remember, you're posting video content every week on social media, so you have to start thinking like a media company. All right, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you soon.